Welcome back to the bikepacking setup mini series. In the last video, we took a look at the front of the bike where I talk about my sleeping system and camera gear. If you're into that, make sure to check out part one. In today's video, we will look at what I carry on the frame of the bike. But before I get into the actual frame bag, I wanna take a look at the frame itself. The frame has space for three cage mounts. I usually use all three for my 22 ounce water bottles. If I feel I can get by with two, I will just take two. Pro tip, if you're only using two bottles for water and need to free up space in your bike bags and you have room for a third water bottle to carry on your frame, use it for extra tools or anything that can be particularly heavy. Getting the heavy items towards the center of the frame will increase your handling as opposed to keeping them on the extremities. On the frame you will also find my spare tube. I do currently run tubes on all my bikes and will most likely be transitioning to tubeless for next spring, although I'm still on the fence about it. That being said, I don't see the spare tube going anywhere soon, as I would still carry it for emergencies if I was running a tubeless setup. The tube is being held up by a voile strap. If you are new to voile straps or have never heard of them, I'd look into getting some for yourself as they are incredibly useful even outside the world of bikepacking and are fairly priced for the durability, quality, and uses. Let's talk about the frame bag. I want to point out that while I'm talking about my setup on the Kona Rove, which is a gravel bike, I apply the same packing principles to my bikepacking setup on the Karate Monkey, which is my mountain bike, with the exception of my Kindle. If I'm using the Karate Monkey, since I have a full frame bag, I would store my Kindle in the frame bag. For my setup on the Kona, I store it in the saddle bag, which you'll see in the next video. All right, let's get into the bag. This bag is an Apodura backcountry frame bag, size medium. The Apodura was the first bikepacking bag I bought a couple years back, and it was initially used on my track bike. It's still holding up just great and fits on the Kona Rove, so I make it work. Inside of the Apodura frame bag, you will find great mesh pockets that keep everything well organized and secure. This makes finding something like headphones or a multi-tool quick and easy. Inside the left side of the bag, I keep most of my bike tools, my Crank Brothers multi-tool, Pedro's tire levers, patch kit, chain tool, and a spoke wrench. You never know when you'll hit a pothole and some spoke will randomly decide to give, and you don't know how close you'll be to home either. On the same side, I also carry all the batteries I need. Two extra batteries for my Sony camera and one 20,100 milliamp portable battery made by Anchor. This thing is a beast. Might be a little overkill for short two-day trips, but it's great on longer trips when I need to charge my phone, camera batteries, lights, Kindle, basically anything. For this reason, I carry both a Thunderbolt cord for my phone and a micro USB for everything else. In the mesh pockets, I also keep my phone and headphones. Please let me know in the comments if I'm alone on this one, but I really don't like riding with things in my pockets. Not even a little bit. If I run out of carrying space in my packs, I usually wear a simple fanny pack and throw my pocket carry items in there. So that's the left side of the bag, let's take a look at the right side. On the right side I carry my ride snacks, or any snack I will consume during the day's events. It's almost always some Cliff, Lara, or some sort of power bar. In this side you will also find my Sawyer Mini water filter, which works well, packs down small, and is one of the cheapest water filters you can find. I also have my mosquito spray, sunblock, and small hand sanitizer. In this secured zipper pocket inside the bag, I also keep my wallet and a lighter. The last thing I carry in my bag is my hand pump, which has a nice quantity of Gorilla Tape wrapped around it. This has come in handy and saved me more than once and weighs very little. That is everything I carry on the frame of the bike. Thank you for watching, and if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Part 3 will be coming your way soon where we'll take a look at what I carry in the saddlebag. Till then, get out there and ride, and remember to stay stoked on spokes.